Hey guys, I've been in Mexico for two weeks, just getting back, getting settled in, and getting educated on what's happening down in the Appalachian region. And yeah, I'm having a very hard time getting refocused because I've been learning from my friends that live in the area about how dire it is. So if you're just hopping on or catching the replay later, please do leave a comment so that we can get as many people to view the video as possible. Um, Facebook has decided to start censoring me again, which happens whenever I start speaking and sharing the truth. And how do I know this? Because I started posting on my Instagram about what was happening down in the Western North Carolina region and surrounding states. And all of a sudden, guess what? I started getting flagged and threatened to shut down my account again. And I am like, wait a minute. This is reminding me a lot of what happened during the big con. And we know what that is, right? <clears throat> I have some theories about what's happening here. And I know everyone is like, oh great, more theories. <laughs> but I will tell you, my family is the Pinkerton bloodlines, which are goes back to the de detective agency, okay? So I have this connecting the dots in my blood. I have to research it. And I'm just, I'm gonna share a few of the things that I've learned. Maybe I'll post some things in the comments. Go ahead and um, if you guys see anything, you can post in the comments too. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of misinformation, I think, planted on purpose because that makes the people who are speaking up and speaking out look crazier. Do you, have you guys noticed that? Have you ever noticed the misinformation piece from kind of, um, I don't even know what we call it, but I am certain that one of those three letter agencies starting with the big C is probably leading the way on that charge. I don't know. It just makes me very suspicious of absolutely everything that we have taken for granted as truth and historical fact. Are you any of you guys on the same page as me? I know that many of my followers are, and we're really fed up. Um, go ahead and just drop a comment if you are kind of picking up what I'm laying down. And again, I hate that we have to talk in this roundabout way. We can't be specific because of the censorship. And again, I get, I, I was like literally floored yesterday when I logged into my Instagram account and there I had three, three, um, posts, comments, etc., flags, and then Instagram saying, we are getting ready to su suspend your account. And I'm like, what the hell for, right? Like, what the hell for, okay? I posted yesterday about the connection. Okay, and I'm gonna go there, I'm just gonna say it. I posted yesterday about the connection, about the mineral deposits. I'm not gonna name what they are, but they are what, is being used with the Green New Deal to create those very special, very expensive, very heavy, very flammable batteries for the very special vehicles. I'm sure you know what I mean, right? Um, which, if you've read the UN agenda, you know, Agenda 2030, we're supposed to go to 50%, 50% electric uh, vehicles. Think about that. Think about that, okay? Can we imagine? If, if there are fires and flooding, which we know there are because we also know that this is geoengineered. Again, there are patents. I can give you all the information if you don't believe me. Um, there's patents on this. It goes back to the 70s. And we know that they can steer storms. We know that they can make them bigger. We know that they can make them more extreme. And again, if you look at historical events in terms of weather, you look back over the last five years, especially since you know who got into office, well, you'll see a pattern. Time and time again, you will see that they are historical weather events. One of the ploys that they plan to implement is what they call a climate emergency. If you have what is called a climate emergency, then you do not have to operate under the three branches of government. If you're not operating under the three branches of government, you don't have a constitutional republic. Do you guys get it? This is 
the problem and this is where we're headed and it is playing out before our eyes and there are not enough people talking about it and those who are are getting censored and I am telling you what it is infuriating and I don't even know what to do or where to go with this information because what are you going to do? Um, so I'm trying to at least go live. I don't know how sophisticated the AI is in terms of censoring the videos we make, but I'm sure that that's coming fast and furious. So I'm doing my best <laughs> to bring the information through a live video, and I guess that's all I can do. So if you resonate with this, you can share it, you can tag people, you can comment at least so it shows my videos to more of my followers. Um, the censorship on Facebook and Instagram right now is absolutely out of control, which tells me, again, I am on target, over the target, as they say, meaning I'm on the right track. Like, I'm, like, what I'm finding and sharing is censored because it's true. Have you guys noticed this yet, that this is what is happening? Um, and it blows my mind. And here's my theory. And again, I'm going to have to speak in code <laughs> because I have a theory. Here's my theory. Um, I really, truly believe and what just happened this last week and then seeing the absolute failure in our government to show up for the people in dire need. The absolute, I mean, shit show, okay? Uh, there is just no, you can't even, you can't even put it in other words. I mean, what would you guys call it? What would you call it? What is the government doing? I, I mean, what, what? Like, I get for a loss of words when I try and process this. And I've literally been thinking about making this video all week and I was like way too upset about it to um, even speak coherently <laughs> the days prior. But I've had time to pray, I've had time to think on this. And um, basically what I believe is happening is this is called unrestricted warfare or the silent war. And I do not believe the corporation of the United States is in control. I think that it is C-H-I-N-A or the C-C-P. Why do I think that? Okay, I'll tell you. You just go and do your research on w this new situation in the White House and how this is unfolding and who the picks are on the other ticket. Um, and look at their connections. Who? Are they funded by? How many trips over to that big <laughs> mainland continent um, have they made? Also, I want you to do your research on those mineral deposits that are found in this area of Western North Carolina. Who is funding that and owns the mines? What are they planning to use those mineral deposits for? And again, it ties back to that big country overseas that I truly do believe is controlling a lot of what's happening in our government, a lot of the censorship. I mean, just look historically what has happened in that big old country overseas. Uh, and what have they done with censorship? What did they do during the big con? What did we see coming out on video? We saw people like literally keeling over and passing out in the streets. Um, the way that they've censored people over there, the, the drones that they flew outside of apartments and told people to stay in, indoors and like the level of surveillance over there and the use of um, the medical cards or whatever you call it. No, because they're all digital already, right? Like I feel like everything that they're doing over there on that mainland big country that I'm not gonna name in this video, I truly believe that they are already have already implemented what is coming our way and what we are seeing carry out. And again, look at Lahaina, you guys. What happened there? Look at Brazil. What happened there? What happened in Germany? All of these places have had catastrophic weather events. Again, geoengineered. There's proof on it. There's patents. And they have all of the same lack of response. Same lack of government response. Why? I just, I mean, I just, I mean, I, w I would be so happy for anyone to prove me wrong on this. If you have any counterintelligence that goes against what I'm saying and you're not somehow funded by the you know what in that mainland over there, 
um, then I'll believe it. And you know what? I'm, I'm just reflecting on this video. Making this video even makes me sound crazy. I, I hate to say it, but I fully recognize that, that that is true. But you know what? I, over the last five years, I have learned so much about what's going on behind the scenes and what the UN agenda is and what they have planned for us. And I'm just warning you. I guess that's what I, all I can say is I'm warning you. So what can we do? Speak out. Do not silence yourself because you might get censored. Do not silence yourself because people might assume that you're crazy. People thought I was crazy back in 2020, right? They did. They thought I was crazy because I said those shots will lead to turbo cancer. How did I know? I was doing the research. I was reading every single document and paper that was coming out, even the redacted Pfizer documents where they tried to black out all the information. I mean, there was enough information available that a person could connect the dots. Now, guess what? It's all been proven true. Here we are, five years down the road, four years down the road, and um, it's already been proven true. So I guess based on my track record, yeah, at first when I start sharing what I've learned, people think it looks nuts, but then it's, I don't know, six months or less now that uh, we're seeing these things proven true. And I don't know what, like, what the, what do the masses use to validate what they think is true? Truthfully, I, here's what I think. When, and some people have a, a stronger knowing, okay? A stronger intuition is what it's called. Um, when you tune in and you pray that God reveal to you the truth and you ask for it to become abundantly clear, you cannot not see it. Okay. So if anyone's watching this and you're just like, what in the heck is she even talking about? That sounds so insane. Why would our government orchestrate a catastrophic storm? Well, let me ask you, why would they think it through, connect the dots? You have to ask the questions, even though they're hard. And you have to think about and ask for God to give you the clarity. I mean, our future depends upon it. If you have read Agenda 2030, if you read the um, Agenda 2050, you know what's coming. How many of you have read that? How many of you have not read that but are going to? Comment. I want to see because this is really where the rubber starts meeting the road. We have got to get educated on, on their plans. They tell us what they are. They're not hidden. They're not a secret. They always tell us what they're planning to do. It's always going to be told to you in some way. It could be in um, music. It could be through movies. It could be through kids' cartoons. It could be like it, it's crazy, but they always tell you what their plans are. So let me share with you all. Um, and please drop resources below, too, if you're watching this and you know of a resource that people could tap into. I think this is so important that we get educated because, like my husband last night when I was sharing with him what I'd, what I'd learned this week, he was like, oh, brother, here we go again, which was the same way he acted when I first brought the information I had learned about the big con in four years ago. Um, and then he goes into this, well, what, what does it matter? What are we going to do about it mode? And... You know, I've prayed about that too, and I think God has called us to speak the truth no matter how difficult it is, right? Do you guys feel that? My guess is if you're still here watching this video, there is something resonating within you telling you there is something wrong. Something is not lining up, and you are called to speak out, and it sucks, and it's hard. Um, and you'll probably get suppressed online, but you know what? Online is a big fake world anyway, right? <laughs> so we just have to like keep going. And um, what else can we do? You've got to be calling your Congress people. You've got to be showing up at organized events or organizing your own local events. One of the biggest reasons I got censored actually in um, 2021 was after the big summer of love. Remember that? You all know what I'm talking about. The big fire season that um, where people were legally burning down their cities and legally marching without their masks or gathering or whatever it was going against whatever their local bullcrap health codes were. Here in Montana, I was part of the group that got the law passed that protected us from mandatory vaccination and mandatory masking. I was that um, passionate about it and um, it was a lot of hard work and we got targeted a lot. But that is one of the reasons I first got censored was I posted 
a, an event on my Facebook fan page and I paid for an ad to promote, you won't believe this, this is why I literally got shut down and still today my business account is shut down. Um, we hosted a Patriots rally downtown Bozeman where we sang the national anthem and all of the you know national hi historical hymns and literally walked up and down Main Street carrying US flags. That got me shut down on this platform. So I'm just saying, whenever you think that something might be off, like in terms of what's, who's speaking the truth, just look at who's getting censored and you're probably going to figure it out real quick. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for hopping on. I see a lot of the people I know who are speaking out and sharing truth. And it's just really an important time to do so because it's just, fascinating to me that we are having so much censored information around this storm down south and I don't know if you know this but they're gearing up for two more same path how do they do that did you know there was less than a 0.1 percent chance of this 1,000 year historical flood that hit the Appalachian region that's crazy I'm going to drop a few screenshots that I've collected over the past week in the comments. And if you guys have any, please do share them as well. If you are donating down uh, to the relief efforts, do not donate to the agencies. And I'm including the RC. You know what that is, right? Do not, do, do not donate to them. They are, there's something very weird down there happening. And this is firsthand knowledge I know from my friends that live there. So what I want you all to do is donate to someone that you know personally, or, or if you don't know them personally, I know people personally. So I'll put you in touch with who you can send your funds to. And also my friend gave me the best idea today. She said, when you are going to go out and shop and buy something, you know, to add to your beautiful home or your wardrobe, in the coming weeks, think twice. Instead of purchasing those items, send the money to those in need who have nothing. And again, this hurricane event was larger than Hurricane Katrina. And I'll post a map of that um, from the radar, um, a picture of the radar from that time in the comments as well. As well as I'll post a map of where Asheville is. You'll see how far inland it is. You guys, your minds will literally be blown. If you don't, if you have not looked into this yet, please, please spend some time. And um, there we are. I thought I was getting disconnected. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be posting um, a couple pictures as well of two of the accounts I follow on Instagram that are sharing a lot of information from people they know firsthand on the ground and um, to help you get connected to some more information. Because I'll tell you what, the mainstream media is not sharing it and we got to ask ourselves why. Why? If this is bigger than what we saw with Hurricane Katrina and 750,000 people live in that region of Western North Carolina. Okay, 750,000. The roads are literally gone. The bridge is gone. Everything, houses washed down, washed away, literally. I mean, the devastation there is truly catastrophic and people aren't hearing about it. They actually are estimating the deaths are in the thousands. Mainstream media, I think yesterday I saw, I saw it was saying 100, like, no. That's, that's ridiculous, no. So anyway, it's really quite a mess. And I hope that all of you watching this um, will feel that fire and do something. You can do something no matter where you live, no matter what you are doing today. You can get educated, you can share information, you can send donations, you can send funds, you can pray. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can even like connect with your church prayer chain and get them praying and get them organizing relief funds and donations. Because if the mainstream media doesn't share this information, the masses do not believe it happened. Am I right? Like, it's insane to me. Why are they suppressing the truth? Why? Why is FEMA saying, oh, we cannot, we, we, we don't have the money to help with this. But yet, they're shutting down the people that are trying to bring relief and aid locally there. Like, I don't, I don't understand why this is happening, which makes me go to the place of, is this coordinated and on purpose? You know? So, anyway, 
hope you'll, this video will help you ask some questions and help you uh, take some action because we all have to be doing something. We all can do something no matter where we live in the country or the world. It's all hands on deck, okay? It literally is all hands on deck. So thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching this video. And I bid you goodbye. And if you're catching the replay and you made it to the end, please <laughs> just drop a comment because you know the comments help with the algorithm. And the censorship and, censorship and suppression is real. And we have to ask, ask ourselves again, why is that happening? I don't know. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.